You're going to get criticized no matter what you do. If you go hard, people are going to criticize you. If you stay lazy piece of shit, people are going to criticize you. So you got to realize that it's up to you to decide what it is you truly want. And it's up to you to accept what pain you are willing to accept. Because if you struggle and you flounder and you refuse to take responsibility for yourself and become that version that you know you're supposed to become, you will be miserable. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to Sin Take, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one, man. Listen, man, I'm just chilling on my little lunch break or whatnot. You know, and I just wanted y'all to see that clip real quick from the real Andy Frisella. Shout out to Andy Frisella. Always dropping them gems, man. Go follow him on Instagram. Go follow him on YouTube. Go follow him on TikTok. All of that good stuff, man, because he always got the great messages. And he absolutely right, man. It's like, bro, it's like you dang if you do and you dang if you don't. But one thing we do know is if you don't, you are going to be miserable. You know what I'm saying? That's why I tell y'all, bro, don't worry about the outside noise. Don't worry about the criticism. It's all on you, what you choose to do. But whatever it is you choose to do, you're going to have to stand on that no matter what. You know, so if you choose to lay down, then guess what? You're going to have to stand on that. You're going to have to suffer because of that no matter what. If you choose to get up and do something about your life, do something about yourself, you know what I'm saying? And guess what? You're going to stand on that and... Listen, you're going to feel a lot better for standing on that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to feel a lot better than you would if you would have laid down, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't going to get nothing from that. You know, people going to criticize you just like he said, no matter what. So they're going to criticize you if you lay down and do nothing with your life. And they're going to criticize you when you get up and do something with your life, bro. You know, so you got a real decision to make, man. Because listen, bro, you're going to hate yourself if you don't do it. Why you think there's so many bitter people walking around here? Why you think there's so many haters out here, bro? You know, cause nine times out of 10, bro, they didn't have it in them to do what it is you doing. That's why they hate. That's why they quick to, you know, be a part of celebrity gossip. That's why they quick to go online and criticize everybody else. That's why they always have something to say you know, in a family and always got something to say about somebody else, but it's never about theyself. But really it is. It's because they didn't have it in them to do what it is you doing, to do what it is they doing. They didn't have it in them to go after their dreams. They didn't have it in them to change. They didn't have it in them to, you know, pursue real health goals in life. They didn't have it in them to pursue, you know, financial stability. They didn't have it in them to change generational curses. They didn't have it in them, bro. It don't matter what it was. Like, listen, bro, as soon as you stand up for yourself, as soon as you start to love yourself, as soon as you start to take life serious, as soon as you start to take yourself serious, there's always people that's going to come who don't take they self serious. It's always going be to be the complete opposite. You know what I'm saying? Of who you are and what you're going to represent. And that's who the real ops are. You know what I'm saying? The ops ain't us against us. The ops ain't good against good. The ops is the bad ones who didn't want to stand on business. Those your real ops right there. You know what I'm saying? But they make themselves your ops. You not you you not approaching them with that type of energy. They tend to approach us with that type of energy because we are displaying, you know, a different type of power. We are displaying a different type of courage, something that they just not used to. You know what I'm saying? They're not trying to get right in the spirit. They're not trying to get right with the most high. They're not trying to walk on a righteous path, a narrow path that's going to lead them to the light, lead them to salvation, lead them to prosperity, lead them to wisdom. They're not trying to do none of that. They're not trying to learn any of that, bro. You know what I'm saying? But as soon as they see you, you know what I'm saying, reaping the benefits of your labor, reaping the benefits you know, for the changes that you made, for the focus that you have, for the courage of you actually getting up and doing something different. See, that's that, that, that's when the hate come in. 
You know what I'm saying? That's when the criticism come in. You know what I mean? That's where people start popping up out of the blue trying to tell you how to do things that they never even tried, that they never even pursued, that they never even had the courage or the or the commitment to do. That's that's when they come in, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's when that's when somebody trying to teach you something. But before, like they were never trying to show you nothing. They never they were never trying to show you nothing different. You know what I'm saying? But as soon as you're doing something different, they want to come and tell you that you ain't doing it right. You know, everybody's known people like that, bro. Like, oh, now you want to get involved now that you starting to see some results. You know, now you want to try to coach me up. You know what I'm saying? Now that you, because you see, you know, momentum in my life, you see the change in my energy. You know what I'm saying? You see the most high order in my steps. You know what I'm saying? But it's just so it's so crazy, like how that come. But none, none of that, none of that is around when you really need it, like when you really struggling. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 you know, stuff like that tend to come when you really got through the hard part, you know, and that's the hard part is starting in general, like the first steps that you take. But before everybody was holding you back from taking those first steps, before people laughed at you, before you was the laughing stop, you know what I'm saying? Before you was the entertainment, you know what I'm saying? But now you're not the entertainment no more. You know, now you showing people now you are the catalyst for change. You know what I'm saying? Now you are the poster child for, for what the most high can do. You know what I'm saying? When you stay in the spirit, when you stay focused, when you stay prayed up, you know what I mean? You are a testament to that and you have to be that no matter what, bro. I didn't have my struggles and I continue to have my struggles. But listen, bro, I cannot waver in faith. I had to keep going. You know what I'm saying? And anybody you can think of, bro, in this scripture, all of them had their troubles, bro. You know, but they still had to keep going. They still had to move in truth. They still had to move and believe. You know what I'm saying? They still had to work. They still had to labor, you know, no, despite how they feel. And that's the crazy part with, with, with you. What we realize, like when we get into the word, it's like, dang, it don't even matter how they felt, bro. And you got to look at yourself that same, the same way, bro. It don't matter how you feel. You know, when the most high put something in you to do it, you just have to do it, bro. Despite how you feel, man. You know, despite what you're going through, we have to continue in this walk. You know what I mean? We are going to have ups and downs. We're going to get put through that fire. We're going to make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go through tribulation. We're going to feel some pain. But guess what, bro? Listen, man, no pain, no gain. For real, for real, man. It's like I always tell y'all, so many people ducking. The fade. They don't want to catch that fade against themselves. They don't want to catch that fade against change. They don't want to catch that fade against the system, against the programming. You know what I'm saying? Against the flesh. They don't want to fight. They don't want to put these up. They don't want to put these up, bruh. They like these new age kids that scared to fight, but they quick to shoot. Scared to fight, but they quick to shoot. You're not scared to fight. You know what I'm saying? You're not scared to fight. And if you had to, more than likely, a lot of y'all will shoot if you had to. Because we know how gritty this fight get. You know what I'm saying? We know, we know, we know now how wicked people can get. We know that this spirit is running rampantly of wicked people, bruh. You know what I'm saying? We know that Satan know that his days are are almost up. So we know that he trying to collect as many bodies as he can. You know what I'm saying? And he fight dirty. We know now, bro, when we wasn't spiritually sound, listen, bro, we would let him bring us down. You know what I mean? But now that we have any struggles, bro, like since I've been struggling all this year, I see now, you know what I'm saying? A lot more clear of, of, of what, you know what I mean? Satan can do. You know what I'm saying? I see how easily he could get you caught into that web. And I needed to see it, bro. You know what I'm saying? All it takes is just the crack of a door. You know what I'm saying? All it takes is just one little mistake. You know what I'm saying? And he will manipulate that. And then before you know it, he back in your life. 
before you know it, you back having urges, you back struggling, you back slide. You know what I'm saying? You back to having them same thoughts that you used to. You back to negativity, bruh. So that's why it's like important for us to stay in the spirit. That's why it's important for us to stay in this truth. That's why it's important for us to stay prayed up. That's why it's important for us to repent. Because every day we're going to get our garments dirty, bro. Understand, every day we're going to get these garments dirty and we have to wash it with this word. We have to wash it through prayer. Every day we're going to get this garment dirty, one way or another. You know what I'm saying? So when you really understand that, when you understand that, bro, it's going to change your life. It's going to change the way you think. It's going to change the way you move. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to make you get up, bro. It's going to make you get up. It's going to make you want to fight harder, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because you realize that it's, it's, it's more than what you thought before. It's more than just physical. Now you realizing how spiritual it is. Now you realizing how mental it is. Now you realizing how emotional, you know what I'm saying? It is, bro. You know, because it is, bro. A lot of us, we've been through a lot, man. You know, a lot of us that been through so much, man. We didn't came so far, man. Listen, bro, we can't turn back. You know what I'm saying? It, we can't turn back despite what Satan try to do. Despite what these demons try to do, despite what this programming try to do, despite what them haters try to do, despite what people try to do, bro. Like, listen, man, we just can't do it. We got to keep on fighting. We got to be willing to put them dukes up. Y'all ever know somebody that's quick to fight? They quick to put them hands up. They quick to throw hands. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times, bro, people like that, they don't want no parts of people like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because it won't be no hesitation. We have to be like that against these demons. We have to be like that against our flesh. We have to be like that against this system, bro. We have to be like that. We have to be quick to throw hands. Otherwise, we're going to lay down and then we're going to look up. And then so much time has passed us by. So many opportunities has passed us by. You know what I'm saying? And we don't want that, bro. Because it's going to be... You know, it's, it's going to be you that have to deal with it, bro. You know what I mean? It's going to be you that have to deal with it. You know what I mean? Nobody else. And you are. Just like he said, you are going to be miserable. And before you know it, you're going to be right back over there with them. Nine times out of ten, bro. If you don't, if you don't stick with the plan, you know what I'm saying? If you don't get better, if you don't strive to become your best version, you know what I'm saying? If you don't hearken to what the most high telling you, listen, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be right back over there, man, in that darkness. You know what I mean? You're going to be right back in there, bro. You know what I'm saying? On your way to that lake of fire. Because that's the only thing that's going to be left. And like, like the scriptures say, bro, listen, bro. You know, the most high going to come like a thief in the night. Like a thief in the night, bro. People going to be marrying, people going to be partying, people going to be eating, and it's going to be on a gloomy day. So you don't know when that's going to be. So it's best that you get to it right away, ASAP. We see what this world is turning to. We see what they trying to do. We see what this world is coming to. We see what they trying to do. Don't worry about nothing else. Don't worry about wars. Don't worry about elections. Worry about you. Worry about you. Worry about your house. Worry about your vessel. You know what I'm saying? Worry about trying your best to, 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 to be in cleanliness, bro. Because that's what the most high want. He want us, he want us clean, bro. He want us holy. You know what I'm saying? He don't want us with filthy garments, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just walking around, just comfortable in sin. Just walking around, comfortable with going back to our own vomit, bro. Nah, he don't want that for us, man. And I don't want that for me, and I for dang sure don't want that for y'all either, man. So stay locked in. Stay pray up. Always get up. When you fall down, put on your crown. Don't take it off. We do not get tired. We do not exhaust, man. I, I, that was off the dome. That was off the dome. I'm just saying, bro. 
you got to keep going, all right? And that's my word, man. My name is Jay Sin and Sin Tate. Holla at y'all later, man.